Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is bubble sort, insertion sort and selection sort. I will explain both algorithm and example and also I will explain difference between insertion sort and selection sort. Guys, I have uploaded complete PPS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is bubble sort. Before that, you need to know what is meaning of sorting. Sorting is the process of arranging elements either in ascending order or descending order. Here they given array of elements which are not arranged in particular order. So we call it as unsorted array. After arranging these elements in ascending order that is from small to big, it forms sorted array. Now I will explain what is bubble sort algorithm. Bubble sort is the simplest sorting algorithm that works by repeatedly swapping the adjacent elements if they are in wrong order. I will give an example. Here this is unsorted array where elements are not arranged in proper order. Now we need to sort this array by using bubble sort. We must start from first position and we need to keep on checking whether elements are in proper order or not. First element is 3 and next element is 1. Both are not in proper order because 1 must be first and after 1 there should be 3. Definition of bubble sort is we need to swap adjacent elements if they are in wrong order. So adjacent element of 3 is 1. Now we need to swap this 3 and 1. After swapping my array look like this. We need to swap 3 and 1. So after performing swapping my array look like this 1 3 5 4 still my array is not sorted because 4 must be here and 5 must be here so again we need to swap this adjacent elements after performing swapping my array look like this 3 swap 4 and 5 now my array is in sorted manner this is how we sort elements by using bubble sort this is an unsorted array now we need to sort this array by using bubble sort we should start from first element and then we should keep on checking each and every element whether these elements are in correct position or not so write same as it is 5 1 4 2 and 8 now place cursor to first position first element is 5 and next move cursor to next position next element is 1 these both are not in proper order because 1 must be first and after 1 there should be 5 so these both are in wrong order so swap this adjacent elements adjacent element of 5 is 1 so we will swap this both 1 5 4 2 and 8 my cursor is here now move cursor one position forward so i am placing cursor here here is 5 and 4 both are in wrong position because 4 should be first and after 4 there should be 5 so again swap this both adjacent elements so after swapping my array look like this 1 4 5 2 8 my cursor is here now move cursor one position forward and compare this both 5 and 2 2 should be first and after 2 there should be 5 so again swap this 5 and 2 swap this adjacent elements so after swapping my array look like this 1 4 2 5 8 now my cursor is here and move cursor to next position so my cursor reached to last position 5 and 8 both are in correct order so there is no need of swapping here cursor reach to last position but elements are not in proper order that is still it is unsorted array so consider it as first pass and we need to start second pass and again we should keep on sorting the elements this is second pass write this elements here 1 4 2 5 8 1 4 2 5 8 again we should start sorting from first move cursor to next position 1 and 4 both are in correct order so again move cursor to third position here 2 should be here and 4 should be here so exchange this both adjacent elements after sorting my array look like this 1 2 4 5 and 8 now all these elements are in ascending order that is from small to big so we can stop sorting now this is considered as sorted array because all these elements are in proper order sorted array this is how we perform sorting by using bubble sort guys roughly i explained but you need to write this in step by step manner like this actually after performing swapping my cursor is here so you need to perform checking until last element so again move cursor here and again take another step one two four five eight from 8 you need to move cursor here whenever this cursor is reached to last position then you need to check this elements whether these elements are in correct position or not this is how we perform bubble sort i will explain algorithm of bubble sort this is an algorithm for bubble sort step one is start bubble sort of array because we are performing bubble sort on array of elements so here step one is start bubble sort array and next step is if array i is greater than array i plus one swap array i comma array i plus one that means if first element is greater than next element then we need to swap this both elements this is meaning of this step if you consider this example here first element is five and next element is one this five is greater than one because actually one should be first and after one there should be five 
this both are in wrong position so we need to interchange these both elements we need to perform this step for all the elements present in an array we need to close this if condition so step 4 is end if and after that we need to close this for loop so step 5 is end for after that we need to return array and at last we need to end bubble sort this is the algorithm for bubble sort so you need to remember definition of bubble sort that is we swap adjacent elements if they are in wrong position next i will explain what is selection sort this selection sort algorithm sorts an array by repeatedly finding the minimum element from unsorted part and then putting it at the beginning this selection sort maintains two arrays one is sorted array and one is unsorted array i will give one example so that you can clearly understand how selection sort will work this is unsorted array now we need to sort this array by using selection sort selection sort maintains two arrays one is sorted array and one is unsorted array so let us consider this as unsorted array because this is not in proper order so consider it as unsorted array selection sort will find minimum element in an array and then it will place this minimum element at the beginning so minimum element is 2 so 7 5 4 2 minimum element is 2 so it will keep this 2 at the beginning and move this 7 in place of 2 so 2 5 4 7 selection sort will find minimum element in an array and it will place this minimum element at the beginning so after placing minimum element at the beginning it will consider it as sorted array so consider this 2 as sorted array sorted and consider this remaining 3 as unsorted array 5 4 7 now again we need to find minimum element from this unsorted array minimum element from this unsorted array is 4 so we need to place this 4 at the beginning so i mean i'm placing this 4 at the beginning and place this 5 in place of 4 2 4 5 and 7 after placing minimum element at the beginning consider this 4 as sorted array so we need to write 2 4 this is sorted array and this is unsorted array now again we need to find minimum element from this unsorted array minimum element is 5 5 is already at beginning so consider it as sorted array so 2 4 5 and it lost 7 this is sorted array and this is unsorted array this 7 is at the beginning so again move this 7 into this sorted array all these elements are from small to big so this is sorted array this is how we perform sorting by using selection sort next i will explain algorithm for selection sort here step one is start and step two is selection sort of array because we are sorting array of elements so i written here selection sort of array and step three is for all array elements search minimum element and swap element at the beginning and consider it as sorted element as i already explained in this before example here smallest element is two we will bring two at the beginning and then we will maintain these two as sorted array and we need to maintain this process until complete list is sorted so fifth step is increment minimum to next point and repeat until list is sorted this is an algorithm for selection sort the selection sort and bubble sort is not suitable for large size data sets it is suitable only for small size data sets next i will explain what is insertion sort insertion sort is simple sorting algorithm that works similar to the way you sort playing cards in your hands this insertion sort works same like how you sort playing cards in your hands this is unsorted array now we need to sort this array by using insertion sort at first you need to place cursor at first position after that move cursor to next position 7 3 5 4 2 move cursor to next position this insertion sort works same like playing cards that means this 3 is compared with 7 and this 5 is compared with 3 and 7 4 is compared with 5 3 7 and at last 2 is compared with all these remaining elements based on this you need to perform sorting so whenever you move cursor to element 3 3 must be here and 7 must be here so you need to write like 3 7 5 4 2 move 3 move this cursor next position that is here now again compare this 5 with remaining these two elements and arrange these elements in sorted manner 3 5 7 4 2 7 4 2 now again move cursor to one position forward that is 4 place cursor at element 4 now compare this 4 with remaining elements that is 3, 5, 7. Actually 4 should be placed in between 3 and 5. So arrange this in sorted manner like 3, 4, 5, 7 and 2. At last move cursor 1 position forward that is in place of 2. Now 2 is compared with all these remaining elements that is 3, 4, 5, 7. Actually 2 must be at starting position so arrange this in sorted manner like 2 3 4 5 7 now 
this is sorted array now all these elements are from small topics now i will explain algorithm for insertion sort here step one is start and step two is insertion sort of array comma n that means we are performing insertion sort on n number of elements in an array and step three is from i equal to one to n minus one that is from starting element to ending element pick element array of i that means we need to pick particular element and then we need to insert that element in sorted sequence that is like 1 0 1 2 3 so on i minus 1 and last step is stop next i will explain difference between insertion sort and selection sort definition of insertion sort insertion sort is a simple sorting algorithm that builds the final sorted list by transferring one element at a time and this is definition of selection sort selection sort is a simple sorting algorithm that repeatedly search remaining items to find smallest element and moves it to the correct location it transfers an element at a time to the partially sorted array and in selection sort it, it finds least element and move it accordingly insertion sort is more efficient when compared to selection sort and selection sort is less efficient when compared to insertion sort insertion sort is complex than selection sort and whereas selection sort is simple when compared to insertion sort insertion sort is more complex than selection sort and whereas selection sort is very simple when compared to insertion sort best case time complexity of insertion sort is big o of n and average and worst case time complexity of insertion sort is big o of n square and whereas best case average case and worst case time complexity of selection sort is big o of n square worst case space complexity of insertion sort is big o of 1 and whereas worst case space complexity of selection sort is big o of 1